Hello, now I'm going to present you the Monk's Sour. The Monk's Sour is a cocktail that was created as a kind of homage, if you wish, to Bernardo, Bernardo Vincelli, which was the monk that created the first recipe of Benedictine. The monk sour will be served in this goblet. Of course, if you don't have this kind of fancy glassware, you could use any rocks glass or sour glass as you wish. I'm going to prepare this cocktail first with the egg white. It is very important, I will tell you why. Uh, so use a fresh egg if you can. I have prepared the white of this egg already. I'm going to place it into the tin and then I'm just going to add one ice cube only. What is it that I want to do here? I want to emulsify the egg white in order to create a lovely form and texture which is essential to my personal point of view to obtain a good sour style drink. Let's do that. So you slap the egg white quite hard. That way. In order to obtain this lovely white foam, as you can see. And now I'm going to place all the other remaining ingredients. Starting with the Benedictine, 50 milliliters. go. Then I'm going to uh, add some freshly squeezed lemon juice. Again, use the best quality available. Fresh lemon as you can, if you can. Place 25 milliliters into the tin of the shaker and I'm going to balance this out with some Honey, two bar spoons should do, but then again, you can adapt the recipe to your palate and make it more or less if needed. Here we are. I'm going to complement it with two dashes of orange bitter, which again, I think is a, a perfect harmony, uh, is in perfect harmony with the citrus notes coming from Benedictine. And now that we have all our ingredients in the tin of the shaker, I'm going to add some ice. And shake it very vigorously, excuse me, with a smile if possible. There we go. And I'm going simply now to strain it into the goblet. Look at this beautiful texture coming through from the shaker. The idea here is basically to agitate the shaker a little bit when you pour in order to uh, get all the lovely foam. The last but not the least will be the garnish. And for the garnish, I'm going to use some fresh nutmeg. Nutmeg, which is also a key ingredient in the recipe of Benedictine. And grate it delicately at the surface of the glass. My brothers and sisters, it has been emotional. Here to the monk sour.